What is up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's your boy Goblin, and today we're coming in with a true classic, a hoot and a holler. Today we're coming in talking about the time that my mom found my Xanax way back in high school. This was so long ago. This is yet again another story that took place so long ago that it was before I met Ashton. But either way, hope you guys enjoy this video, drop a like if you do, and a couple things I want to mention here. First and foremost, for all of you channel members out there who clicked the join button, you guys get to see this video a day early. Hey, say what up in the comments. For all you guys who are wondering how to see one video a week a day early, all you gotta do is click the join button next to the subscribe button. If you're on the desktop, you'll for sure see it. People on the mobile app have, you know, seem to be having some trouble seeing the join button, so make sure you're updated to the latest version of YouTube by joining. It's just like a Twitch sub, uh, right? It's $5 a month, but you get cool benefits benefits beyond just emotes for my live streams and a, a different color name. You know, you actually get one early video a week. Hey, super cool. Appreciate everybody who chooses to join. I really appreciate you guys as people like you who allow me to do this for a living. Thank you in advance. And without further ado, let's dive right into it. So this happened, like I just said, so long ago. Like this was literally probably uh, coming on five years ago now, right? So goddamn long ago. And Back in my first semester of junior year of high school, I went through a phase where I did a shitload of Xanax. Like, after I first tried it, it quickly became, like, all I did for a couple months until winter break rolled around, right? And I, I, I just had the shit all the time, right? There was a girl who used to sell me her bars. I think, like, I think her grandma had a Xan script or some shit, and she would just steal them and sell them to me. I don't, I, I didn't ask a ton of questions, uh, but they were real, nevertheless, right? They, they were legit, because this was also back when, like, I don't know, as far as I remember, back in, like, 2015-ish, like, Xans were just starting to get big, and they weren't all pressed to shit. Like, most, most Xans you'd find, at least in my area, were kids robbing grandma's, you know, fucking medicine cabinet, you know? Like, there wasn't a ton of pressies going around yet, you know? But either way, damn, damn, that's such a long time ago. Or at least in my circle, there wasn't a bunch of pressies going around yet. But either way, so... This was way, way back, and I remember it was a weekend. It was a nice Friday, and I was, you know, I went to school, normal day, and at home, I had left a baggie with a couple Zans in my nightstand, right? They were some buses. I had four of them. They, they weren't anything crazy, and I had them in my nightstand, and I was saving them for that weekend, right? I was like, all right, hey, this is going to be a fun weekend, right? So I go to school. I do my thing. I do my learning. And my mom is the kind of parent where, like, if she finds something, she's not going to immediately hit me up and be like, son, what is this? You better get home right now. It's she's like she plays the long game. Right. So it's almost like a horror movie whenever I find out that she's on to me. Right. Like I got home that day from school and I went inside, hopped in the shower, got ready to go out. Right. Everything's fine and dandy. Mom's not even home yet, right? I'm like, cool, dude. I, I can get in and out with my drugs before mom even gets home from work, right? And she left way later than me uh, in the days on Fridays, right? So she was always there till like noon before she left for work, whereas I would be out of the house by like eight in the morning, right? So I'm getting ready. I'm all, I'm all spiffed up. I got my plans. I'm hitting up the homies like, what are we doing tonight? Trying to figure shit out, yada, yada. The plans are all scheduled, right? I was going to go kick it with Kevin. So... I pop open my nightstand. I can't find the bag. I'm kind of tweaking. I'm like, wait, no way. Like, what? Like, where to go? I'm trying to think, like, did I move it? Did I, uh, did, like, where, what could have happened, right? So I'm tearing my room apart, dude. I'm absolutely fucking gutting my bedroom. I mean, like, I'm lifting up bed sheets, even though the bed just got made. I'm looking under my keyboard and shit, even though why the fuck would it be there? I'm looking in my TV stand. I'm lifting up every item in the nightstand, dude. I'm going crazy, tearing my shit up looking for it, right? And I never found it. I kept looking and looking, but I never found it. And like 30 minutes had gone by. I was, I was searching so frantically that I was starting to break a sweat, right? So I was like, okay, well, this is fucked. And I'm kind of thinking for a minute. And it dawns on me like, oh, I really hope that this isn't the case. But considering my bed was just made, my mom cleaned today, it seems. 
If my mom cleaned up today, that means she probably searched my shit. And if she searched my shit, those Zans were right on top of everything else in my nightstand, right? So I'm just kind of starting to realize, like, oh, fuck, she might have found them. But I was still holding out hope that maybe I just misplaced them like an idiot. You know, I lose stuff really easily all the time. My ADD is horrible, so I'm really good at misplacing stuff. So that's kind of what I was hoping for. Hey, hydration break. Get hydrated. Mmm. Damn, ooh, just took a sip of orange juice. Oh, mm, 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 mm. Hey, baby, it's a wonderful evening. So, either way, back on topic here. Hey, hope you're all nice and hydrated now. So, I'm hoping that maybe I just misplaced them, right? I'm a little bummed out because me being a broke high schooler, those Zans and, like, the $20 in my pocket were my weekend, right? Now my weekend was just $20, no Zans. So, I was like, oh... Well, this sucks, right? So, you know, of course, I leave out of my house. I go over to Kevin. I I link up with him. We're chilling a little bit, trying to figure out what to do. And I'm talking to Kevin about it. And I'm like, yeah, dude, uh, I'm as good to bring some bars over. My bad, man. Uh, But uh, I don't know where I don't know where they went, dude. You know, maybe I misplaced them. And he's like, oh, dude, they might be in your car. We should go look in your car. So I'm like, bet. We go out to my car. Tear that shit up, dude. Annihilate my car. We're looking everywhere. Nowhere to be found whatsoever, dude. Like, just nothing, nothing. We're searching everywhere, trying, like, we're lifting up the floor mats, dude. Once again, nothing. But I still haven't heard anything from my mom, so I'm like, well, maybe we're all good, you know? Like, I maybe I really did just misplace it, and I just really gotta find it pretty soon, you know? So, me and Kevin are chilling. We end up going to grab some weed, and me and Kevin go over to Cody's house, right? We're chilling, we grab some weed, and I'm explaining it to Cody. I'm like, yeah, Cody, dude, uh, I lost my fucking Zans, man. I don't know where they went. And Cody's like, well, shit, dude, like, where have you been today? You know, let's try to figure it out. So I'm, I'm running him through my day. I'm telling him where I've been. And while I'm sitting there talking to him, I my phone dings. I get a text. And I look down. I pull out my phone all casually. It's my mom. I don't have previews for text messages, right? I never have and I never will, okay? So I ain't paying attention to that shit, dude. I, whatever, dude. I literally, all I care about is the name, dude. I'm looking down, egg. That's egg, cool, egg. We're ready to go. So, I'm chatting with them a little more. I bust out my phone, you know, I, I finally read the message. Literally an essay, dude. It was so long and I did not read the whole thing. I I did not read the whole thing because as soon as I saw how long it was, I already knew exactly what had happened. She'd found the Xanax. My worst fears were coming true then and there. So I'm looking down and I just remember just getting this feeling in my body like, oh, fuck, dude. Like, what the fuck am I going to do? And in her message, one of the things she says is do not come home tonight. I'm, oh, fuck. You know, I'm sitting there and I'm like, shit, dude. Like, I don't think I can crash at Kevin's house. I don't I don't even want to spend the night out, you know? Like, I didn't even want to spend... I had $20, dude. I didn't even want to spend the night out. So, I'm trying to figure out what to do at this point, but I didn't want to break the news to the homies yet, kill the vibe. I was like, well, maybe something really fun could come up that would just take my mind off it and fuck the rest of the night. You know what I'm saying? Who cares, dude? We're lit. So we're, you know, I'm, I'm kind of trying to find moves. I'm kind of like, lads, we should do something tonight. We're all looking around for stuff to do, smoking some gas, taking turns playing some PlayStation in Cody's garage. And of course, we don't find any plans, right? Which was kind of surprising. It was a Friday night in high school, but everyone was just doing the same thing as us. And we were like, well, there's no reason to just migrate and have more heads on Roto, dude. Fuck it. Let's just burn some here, you know? So we chilled out at Cody's for quite a while, and it gets pretty late. And Kyle has to go home, or Kevin, pardon me. So I'm like, well, all right, Kevin, I'll drive you home, right? And I say to Cody, I'm like, Cody, can I come back? And he's like, yeah, dude, no problem. Come on back, dude. So I go, I drop Kevin off, right? At that moment, I'm like, hey, peace out, Kevin. I'll see you later, bro. Thanks for linking with me. And he's like, yeah, dude, let me know if you find those bars. And it, it dawns on me once again that, like, I still hadn't told him. So I'm like, oh, yeah, my mom found him. And he kind of, like, does he does this, like, double take. He's like, what, dude? And I'm like, yeah, dude, my mom's got the fucking. <laughs> and I'm just sitting there, and I'm just like, god damn, dude. Like, will she even let me come home tomorrow? Because the thing is, whenever my mom would find my drugs, it was always a scary sight. And I was never, I was always kicked out for at least a night, right? Minimum, I was out of that fucking house that night, right? 
So, like, I I was sitting there like, damn, dude, another night sleeping in the Honda. Let's fucking go, baby. So, I drop off Kevin. I go back to Cody's house, right? And luckily, Cody lets me crash there, right? So, we're chilling out. We're smoking a lot more. And eventually, Cody's older brother comes around with some drinks, right? He comes in the garage. He got some liquor. Good old beers, ladies and gentlemen. Now, you guys are going to judge me for the beers, but listen, they they did not mind a little PBR over there, okay? And I, I don't, listen, this was back in high school, all right? I think back then, nobody minded a little PBR, okay? Now, I will never put PBR to my lips, but back then, I don't think anyone minded, right? So we're slamming, we're crunching these PBRs at like midnight, one in the morning, just getting started. And I'm just trying to get as drunk as fucking possible to forget about the wrath of my mother, dude. The absolute fury coming inbound for my neck, right? So I'm sitting there crunching these fucking PBRs as fast as I can. We're playing fucking like drinking games and shit, dude. We're we're having a blast, just smoking blunts, getting drunk, playing PlayStation, having a good old time. The classic Cody's Garage kind of evening, right? Where it's literally just smoking fire weed, Cody's brother busting serves, and us getting drunk, right? So we're getting nice and fucked up. Me and Cody end up playing each other in UFC, right? And we're, we're doing some drinking games. We're like, dude, hey, Whoever loses, dude, you gotta you gotta slam that shit, right? So we're we're playing, dude, and we're getting fucked up, right? We're hey, sent sent to Jupiter, Mars, dude, not even the Andromeda Galaxy, dude, a different universe, Andromeda universe, whole different system, dude, a different plane of being, dude, different dimension, dude. We're gone, right? We're getting fucked up, and obviously, the drunker we get, the worse we're fighting. So it just gets more entertaining the longer we go. And the night kind of becomes a blur pretty quickly. Like, UFC is really honestly the last thing I remember. But I'd imagine I just passed out face down on the couch in his garage. Probably, right? That Like, I'd imagine that's exactly what I did, right? But I do remember the next day, waking up, and it was already late as fuck in the afternoon when I got up. It was like 2 in the morning. No messages from my mom or anything. You know, I remember the first thing I did, I checked my phone, seeing like, oh, did my mom say any more shit? No, dude. So I'm sitting there and I'm kind of in like purgatory in my head. I'm like, dude, do I go home and literally enter like a boss battle pretty much? Or do I stay out and just continue to get fucked up until I forget about it? But at the same time, like my $20 was gone. I spent it on weed, you know? So there was really not much more fun to be had in my budget, which was $0. So I ended up going home and I go home. And once again, my mom just loves the passive-aggressive long game, right? She will sit there. I'll walk in the house, and she'll be sitting there watching TV, and I'll walk in and say hello. She'll be sitting there, arms folded, tapping her foot, watching the fucking TV. Won't glance over at me until I have a seat, you know? If I won't sit down, she'll look at me and be like, why don't you have a seat? And then she'll just fucking annihilate me. She'll just grill me. She'll say, all right, you're not going outside for 10 years. There's alarms on the doors and windows now. Fuck yourself. I searched everything. Like, dude, these were tense moments, right? So, you know, I I go back home. I go in the house, and that's exactly what she's doing. She's literally, she's watching her fucking TV show, tapping her fucking foot, arms crossed in her little, like, her little, like, recliner, right? And I sit on the couch across from her, and she's mad as fuck, dude. She's so pissed at me, dude. And she's just going in on me. She's like, you really think you could bring this fucking bullshit into my house? All that stuff. And I'm like, no, mom. You know, like, I just, I'm just sitting there and I'm just like, well, hey, we're fucked today, lads. Oh, God, I just burped right there. Ooh. 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 Did you guys hear that one? Ooh. Gee, hey, either way. I'm like, no, mom, I didn't think I could bring zannies in the crib. She's like, you really think you could, you know, like, you know, it's just, just a rampage, bro. And then after she's done, it's one of two things. She's either so angry that she leaves the house or she'll go in a room and slam the hell out of the door, right? That's how it used to be, at least. When I bring hard drugs in, when it was weed, she wouldn't get that mad sometimes. But if it was if it was pills or stuff like that, oh, dude, a door's getting slammed, whether it's the front door or her bedroom one, dude. She's either going in a room pissed or she's leaving pissed, dude. There's no in-between. So, like... 
hey, you you best hope she ain't coming back for a minute when she leaves pissed because that was always worse than her going in the room pissed, dude. Because she when she left pissed, that meant that she would go go out and get more angry about it, driving around thinking about it, and then she'd come back and yell, dude. The mo- she'd come in the door yelling, dude. It it was fucked. So. Luckily, she's not like that. She's not like that anymore. We have a good relationship now. But, oh my, high school was a fucking nightmare, dude. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a like if you did. Luckily, I never really got grounded or anything. And, I mean, she, you know, didn't really take my car. Couldn't really do it. So, I mean, all that really happened was just the, the stern lectures and the yelling and the door slamming. But, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a like if you did. And also, if you guys are looking for a way to support the channel, once again... I highly recommend clicking the join button to get some fire benefits for doing it. Hey, appreciate you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.